you ain't never been on E Block, bitch. You too excited. <laughs> <laughs> Wake your ass up. It's the Wake and Bake Show live on eblockradio.com. <laughs> <laughs> All right, say, uh, oh, I can't take it. I gotta wait till you finish chewing them motherfuckers, dog. I'm about to start them sweating. Them bitches is loud, though. They loud as hell. I'm about to start sweating over here in this motherfucker. Let me turn, turn my mic down. <laughs> oh, May 17th? All right. I gotta do my shit, dude. So you just go lead up? Let's get ready to start, then. <laughs> you just gonna walk away, dog? I'm done, nigga. We gotta, we gotta start, dog. Huh? <laughs> goofy as hell. Goofy as hell. Nigga, we're down here for 15 minutes. We could have been with back there, dog. Huh? Ben went to the bathroom. Man. <laughs> that motherfucker was good, dog. I ain't gonna lie to you. Damn. Nah, oh, man, that shit drives me crazy, bitch. Somebody eat. My nigga, big win. What up, though? What up, though? What's good, families? All right. Guess we gonna get started, dog. Huh? Yeah, I guess. Nigga ain't wanna hear me uh chewing out these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga Julius, what up though? The Plugs podcast in the building. What up though? It's my dogs out in Colorado. Let's go. Alright, let's do it, man. Yo, 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 you know what it is, man. The live is cloud radio show. On the planet. Earth motherfucker. Straight from the E Block Radio Live on your dial. Right this moment, man, this is the Wake and Bake Show. I got my nigga Avery, man, holding it down. My nigga Monk Money holding it down, too. Yes, sir. <laughs> and, of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Let's talk a little shit, dog. We've been going since, what, last Wednesday? Yeah. What y'all niggas been on, dog? What's been popping? Whole you? week, man. Hell yeah, what's good? <laughs> so this nigga gonna belch on this motherfucker, but I can't, I can't chew on some motherfucker homies. So what's been popping with you, dog, since last week? Nothing. I just been working, man. I'm watching TV. What you watch on TV? I don't know the names of none of this shit. <laughs> what else been happening, though? <laughs> nothing. That's that's real, man. What's so easy, nothing. So easy, treats alone, man. You know what I'm saying? We got a comedy <laughs> I mean, show. Was, yeah. We got a comedy <laughs> show. What you want me to do, man? I don't know. I mean, it's I mean, it's been a whole week, nigga. Something happened, nigga. Something. Something. Like what? I mean, there's a whole lot happening. I just don't know about it. I mean, something happened in your life, though. Was... No. All right. Let me think. <laughs> so you are just going to make a nigga have an adventure. I mean, I ain't going to make your ass shit. <laughs> like I said, professional old nigga answer. Hell yeah. <laughs> professional old nigga answer. That's a good one. Who said that? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> no, my my cousin Miles. Hey, look, so look, this is the thing though. This is the conversation we was having before you got down here and shit though. Um, angry man be uh talking shit about his corporate American job and shit. And I told the nigga that he too efficient at that shit. Like sometimes when you too efficient at a corporate American job, they try to drain the, the blood out of your shit. Mm-hmm. So I said, if you go be that motherfucker efficient, you can't complain when they when they want you like twenty four seven shit. He told me. That he got the right to complain all he wants to. I don't think so. Who cares what you think? If you give maximum did, effort, then they're going to try to... wake up this morning and ask him what he thought? Everybody do. In my mind, everybody wake up every morning and say, damn, what would, what would Q do in this situation? That's what I feel like. <laughs> right. got, then we're going to have a whole world full of fucking nut-eating dirtbags. <laughs> nut-eating dirtbags. Wowzers. Just for, just for that, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you, you practicing for the club or something? For the who? You practicing for that club. <laughs> you don't want to keep jamming them nuts in your mouth talking about how good they are. Right? <laughs> Let the truth come on out. Slowly but surely, the truth fuck. coming out. Oh, Money is bang checking in on it's IG, It's coming man. out subliminally, if that's a word. Tall the barber, what up, though? Bay Area in the building. What up, though? <laughs> My nigga, uh... Lucius, uh, Lucius Washington just checking in. What up, though? Spicy Nugget, what's good? Spicy Nugget. <laughs> Nutty dirt bags. Wow. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying, dog. I don't even know. So, anyway. Mm-hmm. 
What else been popping with you, dog? That's it? Nothing? I mean, we keep it moving and shit. No, man, I, you know, just been you know, <laughs> putting in some time, you know, just working. But I can't complain about it. I guess. I can complain about anything I want to. That's just like customers, though, right? So customers can complain, too, though. I never said they couldn't. You'd be mad about it, though. But I didn't say they could. <laughs> <laughs> they have the right to complain. <laughs> right, I feel you. More money, though. What's the problem with you, though? I was waiting for this dude to finish uh, his whole adventure. You know what I mean? I, I, it sounded like you had a great week. I did. Yep. Um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. So, uh, yeah, nothing wrong with your boy, bro. You know what I'm saying? East Street Shalom got the comedy show tonight, man. Come out, sh you know, show some love, bro. See some funny acts, you know what I'm saying? Some I think Josh Adams going to be there tonight, too. Yeah, 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 he's pretty yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, pretty funny, dog. There's going to be some funny dudes down there tonight, so... Uh, come on down there, man. Laugh, eat some good food, man. Fuck with your boy, man. Easy Street Saloon, 16101 East 10 Mile Road. Fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said, listen, after you hit a certain age, you just complain about everything. That's just old niggas, cuz. Yeah, for sure. For sure. If that's how you want to put it, I don't give a shit. That's your opinion. <laughs> okay. Yeah, old, old man. Oh man, this shit. Anyway, dog, what else good with you, dog? Nothing been a week, nigga. What's been popping? Ain't shit popping? Not really, man. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> saying like, I've been on the same shit he been doing. Yeah. Just trying to work, you know what I'm saying? Keep, like, keep the shit going, you know what I'm saying? Got a couple parties, you know what I'm saying? This weekend, shout out to Coco J. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Showing love with the show to your doorstep, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. Factual. Uh, shit, that's, that's about... Did you do it yet? Do I do what? Chef, did you do it? Did you do it yet? No. Mm. This weekend? Yeah. No. This Sunday, the first, a second or one. Second of the one of them days. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, yeah, I did. Late. Something did happen. What up? That motherfucking chicken sandwich was off from the hook, my brother. What chicken? Oh, from from yeah. the uh, Easy Street? Yeah. Oh. That night I went into work. Yeah. That shit was fire. What you had the fried chicken shit? Yeah. And the next time. They tell me ain't no motherfucking mustard in that building. We're gonna have a third world motherfucking problem. You want no mustard? I fries, nigga. I want some mustard. I'm saying what is no mustard? It wasn't that. Told me. Hey, I ain't got no mustard. What type of shit is that? I ain't even want the fries. I can't cook put no mustard <laughs> on the fries. Stupid as hell, dude. Hey, you like call so. me stupid. If you ain't got cheese on your shit, you ain't gonna eat. It. So I can have That's mustard on my nigga. shit. What's the difference? Cause cheese belong on that shit. A mustard don't belong on fucking fries. <laughs> and what book is? What, show me what book that's in. The book of Q, nigga. Let me go grab it for you. Mm -hmm. the, fuck? the book of anything. Cause I told her to tell her nigga we ain't got no mustard. First thing you say, you gonna ask for some mustard. And say he ain't, we ain't got no. <laughs> <laughs> my boys in and my boys in the hood. Boys, food. These my fries. <laughs> what I want to put on the fries. Eat the bitches playing before you put some fucking mustard. That shit return. You acting like I'm trying to feed the bitches to you. Leeway. What up, though? Can I eat my fries? Hey, y'all niggas listening right now. I, I see there's a lot of people listening right now. Do any of you motherfuckers eat mustard on your fries? Or is that the goofiest shit you ever heard? Hit me in the comment box right now, though. I just want to know, is anybody out here eating mustard on their fries other than this crazy ass nigga? Yeah, okay, well, I, I got it from, you know, when I put the mustard on the chili fries with cheese. I'm like, damn, this mustard's kind of straight on. But then, like I said, that's all my old man ate. Yeah. He did it. That's where I got it from. Yeah. Yeah, we ain't gonna say nothing to him. I was getting ready to say, go ahead and holler at that nigga. <laughs> nah, he good on that. He good on that shit, though. Ain't hey, shit wrong with mustard on your fries, man. <laughs> All right, yeah, it makes sense, I guess, whatever. Yeah, nobody want to talk Spank about that. Spank said barbecue drink. sauce. Barbecue sauce on fries. That's, yeah. that's cool. I put hot sauce with ketchup, niggas. That's about it. I put the barbecue, especially if I'm eating ribs. Hey, did, did y'all niggas watch uh, Mortal Kombat? Yeah, no, I didn't yeah, see it. Yeah. I didn't like it. No? Like... I think the I think the fight scenes was dope as hell, but I feel like like the choreographing of the fight scenes was dope as fuck. Like dope I I, I, ain't, I ain't seen no fight scenes like that ever. But I still feel like they shot that bitch in the nineties. Like why did it look like that? Like they got way better technology now. Like why ain't they make it look sweeter? Like the, the fight sequences was dope though. Like all the motherfuckers, <laughs> you know all that shit. But like it just looked old as fuck. It looked like the old one. I don't give a fuck. That's, I what, think that's, that's what, what made me. Is like that what they was trying to do? I think so. Oh, okay. That's what made me like it. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. Almost looked like the original and shit. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. Maybe. Maybe that's what. <clears throat> that's why. Because the fight scenes was it. Yeah, I ain't never seen like that yeah, shit look like some real yeah. Channel Twenty motherfucking kung fu shit back in the day. Yeah, especially but. the motherfucking blood and guts and shit, man. They yeah. Like some motherfucking yeah, hands and shit. They was. 
That shit but it just dope. seemed like the effects was supposed to look, man, whatever. It, it came you know, on. It came on gully. With, yeah. some, with something like Mortal Kombat, if they'd have put too many effects in it, you'd have been like, oh, man. It meant too man. much. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess they tried to keep the realism in it. I guess so, maybe. Yeah. She was, was, was dope, though. But I'll go on overboard. Yeah, Scorpio was cold at the end of shit, though. Yeah, Scorpio was cold as shit. But get over here. That shit was dope, man. <laughs> it, it was. I don't know. Maybe that, I was. Just, I don't know what the fuck I was expecting. <laughs> I don't know what you was expecting. Who's your uh, favorite <coughs> comic book character all time out of all of them? Uh, shit. Probably, probably Scorpion. Probably more than likely Scorpion. Scorpion. And then I used to like uh, fucking like, Raiden. Raiden. Yeah. No, Raiden is mine. Yeah. I used to yeah, like Baraka. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why? Because he had the little thing. Yeah. Too, <laughs> too close to me. Too close to me. No, I fuck with you on that though. Yeah, them my two though. Scorpion and uh, Raiden. Uh, I never like niggas used to be like good with Sub Zero. I was never was good with that nigga. So, no. but, but yeah, I was, some niggas was good with Liu Kang too. Yeah, I could, I could, I yeah. wasn't fired with that nigga though. Niggas yeah. was good with that nigga though. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Winston said uh, Raiden. Yeah, Raiden was a nigga though for sure. Um. Anyway, my bad. What else? Uh, that's it. That's it for you, boy. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, let me see. Since we've been gone, uh, shout out again to uh, the Wilson family dog. Yeah. Uh, I went to go uh, kick it with. My homeboy Chris, man, out in uh, Grand Rapids, he lost his old man last week, so we went to the funeral on uh, Friday. So stay up, bro. Um, for sure, yeah, stay up to the whole fam. Sure. Um, I got a <laughs> so I just, I want to tell this story. Like it ain't even a whole story. It's just some shit happened when I was in Grand Rapids, though. Um, I was I stayed the night before uh, before the uh, before the funeral and shit, right? So I had uh, I had left my uh, <clears throat> my weed in the truck, right? So I was going downstairs to grab my weed, right? So this the the white lady who checked me in and shit, right? We had a whole conversation, like she seen me. We had a conversation. We good. I go upstairs and she realized my weed in the truck, so I come back down. It's probably about I don't know, maybe about eleven. God damn, cuz this <laughs> shit. Shit, gotta feed the beast. So it's about eleven o'clock, or whatever. Now you know when you get off the elevator, like all right. So we get off the elevator and shit. The front desk is like literally like fucking five steps away. When the elevator opens, you know it, it bang like bing, like you know this shit opening. So she walking, and I'm getting off the elevator. And when I tell you, I ain't never seen a white woman so terrified. Now I will tell you this: I had my mask on and I had my hoodie on and shit, right? So she had to know that it was somebody getting off the elevator because I'm sure she heard it bang. But when I say, I'm talking about. This white lady screamed to the top of her lungs, bro. She screamed? She screamed. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga like that. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> so she's like, oh, my God. You scared me. You know, you know the bitch told me? You're so stealthy. Stealthy? <laughs> stealthy, bitch? Stealthy? Fuck you, man. <laughs> you, know, you so big, black, and scary. No, exactly. That's what you might as well have said. And bro, I was like, <laughs> "Oh my god!" I would have peed myself. I would have laughed in her face, bro. No, when I went around the corner, I laughed so much like hard, like dog. No, she was, she was frightened, my nigga. Like I, she thought I was gonna rape her. So I'm like, yeah, I'm mean, not gonna lie though. I did have a hoodie on and shit, and motherfucker. Like yeah. it probably did look. You probably would have scared any motherfucker at that point. Cause all I'm saying is that you knew somebody was getting off the elevator. So she it ain't the went. fact that somebody getting off the elevator. It was what she saw that scared. Yeah. Yeah, lucky it wasn't Tamika. She probably would have maced and stabbed your ass or something. <laughs> yeah. You would have scared every, Duh, any person at that point. That shit. It was just too funny. I was thinking in my she head like been scared at that time. Huh? It was funny, but like not funny though. Cause it's like now I'm just looking like damn, like this. They really be having that fear in their heart. Like, damn, I don't even want to walk around with that kind of fear, nigga. Me either. That a motherfucker would scare me. I mean, I mean, it, I, when I tell you this motherfucker, holler, like, holler, nigga. Holler. <laughs> <laughs> like, to the point she down there scared me, nigga. Like, I see her coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, she <laughs> just looked up like, <laughs> And she done had shit in her head. She done threw shit anywhere, nigga. That shit was... <laughs> oh, I would've God. Peed, I would have peed on myself laughing at Dog, that. Dog, that, that shit was funny to the motherfucker. I ain't can't hold you up, man. Shout out to the white people scared of black people, man. I, I, hey, I don't know. I hope y'all get over that shit, bro. <laughs> One day. Because <laughs> I ain't going to hurt you because we know that, you know, it's going to happen. <laughs> right. And then, like, uh, it was weird. In Traverse City too, but I uh I still uh did the weekend in Traverse City and shit, and it's weird there ain't no black people there. 
And it was one restaurant that I went to that it was, uh, it wasn't no black people, right? And I got, like, a good-ass table, too, like, by the window and shit. I think that when I called, they I put on my good, you know what I'm saying, Adrian College voice. And maybe they thought, I don't know what they thought. <laughs> but when I got there, <laughs> for my reservation, the lady looked at me like, this can't be the nigga that called in here, man. <laughs> I swear to God, she looked at me like that, like. Uh, do you have identification, sir? No, I, I thought she was going to ask me for it because that's how she looked at me. So then when we was leaving, though, it was like three black ladies and shit. Like, all right, so in the re- like you got inside the restaurant, then you got outside the restaurant, like in the little bubble or whatever. It was three black women and shit. They were sitting out, outside, though. And I swear they looked at us like, how y'all get in there? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know what? I gotta get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> that shit all in your head. Some yeah, that shit yeah. all in your head. I gotta get the fuck out of here, dog. <laughs> but shout out, shout out to white people being way too uncomfortable around black people, man. Yeah. I, I don't know where y'all get that shit from. Uncomfortable around white people and black people yourself. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, this is, yeah. <laughs> sometimes, nigga. Um, I did go to uh, Traverse City uh, Whiskey Company, uh, the uh, distillery. I didn't get a chance to take the distillery tour though, but I did. Uh, I did go to the little tasting room and shit, so that was cool. They don't serve food in that bitch, though. I was mad about that. But, uh, yeah, so that shit was cool, man. That was uh, that was my weekend and shit. Um, I think the highlight of that shit, though, was scared the shit out of that white lady, though. She Not even on purpose, though. Just like, it wasn't even. She went home and told everybody about that. <sighs> Duh, that shit, shit crazy as hell. All right, anyway, on that note, though, we're going to uh, go to commercial break, and we're going to get back to our for real topic, dog. Today, we're talking about the pandemic, bro. We want to know, do you think that the world is getting ready to open back up, dog? That's what we want to talk about. Um, and we're going to talk about some other shit, too. Vaccines and all kind of shit. We're just going to talk about all kind of pandemic shit. So hang out with us for the next couple minutes, man, as we go to commercial break. And we'll be right back. Don't forget, you can put us, uh, you can put in a comment, and we will read it live on air. Or you can give us a call at 313-444-3032, dog. You can actually talk live on the motherfucking show. You feel me? Um, yeah, we'll be back in a couple minutes, man. Till then, you already know what it is. The Live is Cloud Radio Show on the planet. Earth, cuz. Straight from the E-Block Radio Live on your dial. Right this moment, man. We'll be right back. Wake your ass up. It's the Wake and Bake Show. Live on eblockradio.com. The E-Block Radio Podcast Network loves our fans, and we need your help. Click the link in the description and become a patron on our Patreon page. You can help us continue to deliver informative and funny entertainment as we've always done. But not only that, you'll have a chance to win free gifts, cash prizes, and get access to behind-the-scenes footage, videos, and photos. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that link in the description and become a patron on our Patreon page. PardonMyEastSide.com We've got t-shirts, long-sleeve tees, snapbacks, skull caps and yeah we even got hoodies use the promo code eblock radio to get 15 percent off right now wake your ass up it's the wake and bake show live on eblockradio.com you got the bag here <laughs> I know it ain't him. Is he married? I'm married. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm mad that you think fags don't be married. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad that you think that, my nigga. I guess you would know. That's your community. <laughs> my community. <laughs> you not only the client. <laughs> the motherfucking president. <laughs> Damn, we talking all kinds of crazy shit, though. All right, we back, man. Uh, apologize to the LGBTQ community and shit. Yeah, We're not getting no sponsorship No way so fuck it yeah. um, We back in this thing dog You already know what it is The Live is Cloud Radio Show On the planet Earth motherfucker Straight from the E-Block Radio Live on your down right this moment man This is The Wake and Bake Show man Smoke Got my show. man Angry man and Mark Money Holding mm-hmm. it down mm-hmm. And of course man It's your boy Q Lewis Holding it down live From the 48205 man Alright let's get to it dog It's a motherfucking pandemic dog Do you <clears> think that it's about to be over though? Is the world getting ready to open back up, bro? Hell no. Angry man, what you say, bro? Hell to the motherfucking third world? No, man. Hell no. <laughs> no, it ain't. You know, this I, it? I, yeah, I just don't think it's going to happen no time soon because cases are still popping up. Yeah, which don't make sense to me. Yeah, I mean, cases, I mean, why open it up and cases keep coming up? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I really believe, and I said this before, if they'd have just shut this motherfucker down right the first time, 
then we probably would be halfway closer to where we need to be right now. Yeah. But, you know, as Americans and, you know, humans, <laughs> motherfuckers are so afraid to lose a dollar, but you will sacrifice lives for it. Which is what, you know, they've been doing since the beginning of time any goddamn way. Yeah, but, exactly. But, you know, like I said, I mean, I would have rather took the bullet and just got it over with the right the first time instead of stretching this shit out to where it is now. Yeah. Because, like I said, <clears throat> this shit supposedly die out in heat. If cases are still rising in the summer, what the hell you think going to happen, you know, come September, dog, when it right. start getting back cold and motherfuckers are catching, you know, the flu and shit? Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Uh, it's I guess just, they helping niggas going to be vaccinated or something, I don't know. Or probably dead. That's <laughs> what they banking on because that's what's happening. <laughs> With a fat bacon cop. Hmm? He said dead with a fat bacon cop. Yeah. He's <laughs> looking at Corporate Cody say, who is that with the smooth voice? With the smooth soothing voice. <laughs> it's motherfucking uh Co forty five over here fucking Billy D and shit. You know that was my beard choice though. <laughs> anyway, dog. So you say no, you don't think that shit about to open up? Mm-mm. I mean it you know what? It ain't about what we think, it's mm-hmm. about what they're gonna do. And I mm-hmm. think they're gonna do it just because. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and, and you know, we we hard headed any goddamn way as humans. <laughs> Candace said, "Billy D. Morris, speak up." <laughs> not, 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 not you, Candy. No, come on, Candy. Not Billy you. Billy D. Morris. <laughs> not you, Candy. Oh, oh shit! shit. Yeah, that nigga talk loads of motherfuckers. Y'all yeah, get on my nerves. Bro, <laughs> Billy D. Morris. <laughs> nah, nah, between you and Rashad, nah, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> More money, dog. What you say, bro? Man, I say fuck no. Nah. Hell no. Hell no, man. This shit ain't gonna be this shit. We got another two years of this shit. God damn, two? Yeah. Nah, I don't think two. Now watch. Be I mean, what's the, what's, if it's two, what's the point of pushing the vaccine like they pushing it down? Is uh, everybody not gonna take it? Yeah. Uh, money? I mean, millions of people took it already, though. So. And millions of dollars been made mm-hmm. off the vaccine already. Billions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We multiply it. I think it's all... Me, personally, bro, I don't think, I don't think it's going to bounce back just because... Motherfuckers are ignorant. Like, <laughs> for, real, for real. Like, for real. Like, motherfuckers don't wear their masks, don't want to wear their masks. Da, da, da. This just just... The jump to leap to get over this shit, motherfuckers ain't gonna take this. A lot of motherfuckers ain't gonna take that leap. Yeah. Because they don't care. They, some of them don't think this shit real. Some of them think it's fake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I have a conversation with one of my dogs every time I see him, man. This shit fake. My wife a nurse. This shit fake as fuck, bro. Like, they don't even damn. niggas dying, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, that ain't fuck? fake. Niggas been dying right. that ain't been dying before. <laughs> right. They ain't never dying before, nigga, for real. <laughs> that Trump shit. Hell yeah. Shit. Niggas been dying that ain't been dying before. Like, for real. Like, that shit crazy. Like, I, I don't see how people be saying you be saying that shit fake, though, like... Oh, man, I remember what you said. That dumb ass. As goofy as that shit sound, I, I know what he's saying. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but that shit just goofy as fuck. I know his motherfucking advice just probably walked on. Like, what the fuck right. did he just say? Hell no. But yeah, yeah, like... So you don't think so? No, man, like, man, we got, we got a, lot of hard, a lot of work to do, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Michigan, like, this is probably like the number one, the number one state. That's Which is just that shit up. just odd to me. I, I just don't understand how that shit worked though. Like how you got a surge of motherfuckers taking the uh, vaccine, but the numbers raise rising higher than they was before niggas had the vaccine. Like how, how is that possible, nigga? Mm-hmm. Like uh, what is the vaccine doing then? Well, you got to think. Before, a lot of people wasn't working. Kids wasn't in school. So, a yeah. lot of people wasn't moving. Yeah. So, regardless, if, if you got a, a thousand people taking the vaccine, but you got 5,000 people just out there, yeah. you know, that wasn't out there before. <laughs> <laughs> they said that Johnson & Johnson fucking motherfuckers up. That Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Give niggas blood clots uh-huh. or something. Well, they said that both of them got the ability to do that shit, but I guess that's, that was worse or whatever. Yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, bro, it's a podcast. What up, though? Just checking in. Shout out to y'all. Uh, today was one of our shout outs a couple of weeks ago, I think. Uh, Cardio Cools, man. What's the deal? Uh, v, just checking in. What up, though? Uh, v, I don't know if you're still in Michigan and shit, because I know you be be uh, globe trotting. So maybe we'll see you Friday. Not sure, but we'll be in the building on Friday. So uh, some drinks would be nice. Um, yeah, so you say, both of y'all say you don't think so. Um, 
Well, you been like, so recently you went to uh, Nolens. Nolens. How was it down there? Was niggas adhering to the rules? Because it, it feel like when you go other places, like, like it, it's some places who ain't, they ain't fucking with it at all. The streets was cleared out about 1230. Yeah. When they come down there spraying that bitch. Oh, for real? Oh, hell no. In the morning, you wake up and go get you some beignets and some coffee. Yeah. The motherfuckers are spraying the fucking street. But the sh it's trash, though. The street is trash. Because from fucking whatever time they open until the fucking time they close, it's just motherfuckers. It was everywhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it right. was everywhere. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. you know, but motherfuckers had their masks on. Motherfuckers was buying by all the little rules and shit. Yeah. And they like, like they shut that bitch down. Like, I mean, like police on horses and shit and everything. Walking yeah. down the street. Like, yeah. What you about to say? Can I ask a question? What up? Um, when we had the curfew, kind of mm -hmm. like what you saying, they got knowledge, right? They did. I don't know if they still do. Okay, what? So you can't catch the vaccine after a certain hour or something? Huh? I mean, you can't catch the uh, COVID after a certain hour? I mean, that's just to keep the traffic down. I mean, but shit, if I, it, you going to bring more people out if you know they got a curfew. I mean, we got a curfew now. I mean, but... Everything but, closed at 11. No, I'm, but I, I get that. But what I'm saying is, they making it seem like you can't catch it after 11. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, it's just a control, to, just c control the crowds that normally come up after. Like, them times of night, it's nightclub hours and shit, basically. Mm -hmm. But then you're going to bring all the nightclub people out during the day, which is going to add to the, the, the population of people being moved around. It ain't That's doing what it. I'm saying. It didn't do it here. It I helped, I, I think. Uh, I don't know, man. It should help us. You know fuck what I'm saying? Fuck a curfew. Do what Canada did and shut that bitch down. Clean it up and get get back to normal. Yeah, living. but Canada knows some bullshit now, though. So, I don't know. Because they did that, they trying to, they really regulate nigga shit. Like, they really on some, what you call that shit? Authoritarian, you know, that other word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know what you're talking about. Yeah, that, that word and shit. Yeah, they really on that shit though. Like they forcing niggas to take vaccines and shit and like you can't do certain shit if you like they like because they did it that way, they had control of a lot more shit than I'm willing to get a government control of. I mean, so you really can't here because then you're gonna have to take the land of the free out that punk ass song. Oh, they ain't gonna never take that shit out no way. Uh Jay Dallas side, what up though? Uh, he said the virus has a new variant every day, so the vaccine today won't protect you from the virus. Get ready for the <laughs> zombies. I'm I'm dropping heads. This is gonna be around for another year or two. That's so everybody think it's still gonna be yeah. two years? Yeah. Two years a long time. That's what it's gonna be. Or how about it's or, been a long time? Or how about we just do it like this, though? How about we? Yes, uh, authoritarian. Yeah, that's what I was that's trying to I say, though. Huh? Ain't that what I said? I don't know. That's what I was trying to say. I don't know why I thought it was more syllables than that shit. Uh, Frankie Smalls just checked in. What up, though? My man B Rock was good. Um, so two years. What if we just keep it like this? What? What if we just keep closing shit at ten or eleven o'clock and just keep wearing masks, nigga, forever? What yeah. is it just normal, nigga? Fuck it. Yeah, it might it's be the normal, normal now. I don't really care. Like, I, <laughs> like I'm, I'm actually okay with it, nigga. Like, yeah. It's fine. Because in Norland at 12 o'clock, I was tired anyway. All the goddamn walk. <laughs> right, I'm all the same. Yeah. I stood outside. I stood outside for a minute like, yeah, I'm about to get live, man. I'm like, man, I'm about to go to the room. I'm about to lay the fuck down, bro. Nah, I, I like that shit. Like, even when we went to Charlotte and shit, shit was closing like 10 or 11. Like, mm -hmm. that means you got to get your ass up early. Mm -hmm. If you don't, fuck it. You at home, nigga, mm -hmm. shit. And I was alright with that shit. Yeah. Like y'all niggas ready to go? It's nine thirty. Like shit, we might as well just chill, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you know that's my shit, man. That's old nigga shit, though. Yeah, right? I was gonna say you gotta think. You wouldn't be saying that shit if you well, was in your twenties. Twenty shit, hell, nah, I'd be mad as fuck. They done told you the motherfucking Joe yeah. Louis post closing at eight thirty. You'd have lost your motherfucking mind. <laughs> my nigga Spice say, uh, he said two at least. He said, but I'm masked up and social distancing until twenty thirty. <laughs> <laughs> he said he doing that shit for the eight years and shit. Fuck. Uh, B Rock said Asian countries wear masks all the time. That's for sure. Um, Candy said we gonna need to get booster shots for these variants or something, dog. Something. Yeah, I don't know, dog. Um, I don't. Know, two years is a long time, though. Really? It's been a long time. Yeah. Going through some shit yeah. like this. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Cardio Cool said that same shit. Tell your twenty year, your twenty one year old self that shit. Yeah, I've been like fucked up. We've been breaking rules. We be going to jail. <laughs> Cause they gotta fuck a curfew, you could. Oh yeah, you would have went to jail. No uh, doubt. Yeah, I, yeah. Would, I wouldn't. You be fucking curfew, I'd be in the crib. No, he, this nigga would have went to jail. 
<laughs> Why you say that, though? Because first off, you're a dirtbag, you wild, and <clears throat> you can adapt to the jail and I like the lockdowns, low key, man. Say that again. Say that last part again. I said you're a dirtbag. You the wild, last part. And you can adapt to a jail environment. <laughs> yeah, I knew, that's what, I knew that's where it was going with this weak shit. <laughs> Oddly enough, you would have, you oddly would, enough, you wouldn't have a problem with being in there. Oddly that. enough, you the only motherfucker who been in that motherfucker. And I had a problem with being there. I don't know. I had a problem with being Spent in there. Spent the whole weekend in that bitch, I don't know. I had a problem with being I in there. I think you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you enjoyed it. That's probably why you didn't want to come get me. <laughs> why? Because you probably wouldn't have wanted to go. <laughs> Temptation to hit, but no one was behind them the walls. Temptation, dog. No one was behind them walls. Probably would have drew, drew you to commit a crime, so they could just walk you right in. There. <laughs> what? Anyway, dog. Two understand. years. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be that long. I just feel like if you, with all of this shit they implementing, like the uh, the vaccines and all this uh, new cleaning technology and shit they got, I don't know. I don't understand why it should last for two years. Yeah. Like, unless all this shit they tell us is just a lie. None of this shit is actually fixed enough. And if that's the case, then yeah, it could last forever and shit. Well, you know, like I said, because everybody's <laughs> not going to follow the rules, bro. <laughs> yeah, Cardio Cool saying, when you going to add the dirt bag t-shirt to the merch store? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> dirt bag. Just put, just put a big-ass bag on the t-shirt with <laughs> Q face on the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that's weak as hell. First of all, I'm not a dirt bag, dog. Anyway, dog, if you got a comment, man, give me the comment box right <laughs> let now. You tell it. <laughs> no, we want to know, man, what's your idea about the pandemic, dog? Do you think it's almost over? Uh, also, man, you can give us a call. If you would like to uh, talk live on the motherfucking show, man, it's 313 444 3032, man. Give us a call and shit. We can, uh, we can hear your voice and shit like you right in the motherfucking studio, dog. Right here, you hear me? Hey, so this is my question, then. If y'all think, and we talk about this shit all the time, but if y'all think that. It's gonna last this long and shit. What like at what point are you gonna be like fucking? I'm gonna take this vaccine there until I'm forced to do it. Forced to do it? Yeah, because I'm not an advocate to taking medication anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. That's probably not the smart thing. <laughs> but I, I just you know me and my old man go back and forth about this all the time. I'm just not one to say, you know, if they tell me I gotta take it, I I gotta. I mean, you know. I do read every once in a while. The drugs they tell you got to take, you don't take. But the ones that they don't tell you take, you take every day. Probably. <laughs> you probably nailed it right there. <laughs> but no, man, I, I'm serious. I just don't take shit just because they tell me I got to take it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it really got to be some shit because, you know, after, especially after I saw what they did to my old man, that, you know, that really pissed me off about these motherfuckers giving you medication. Yeah. You know I mean, that, that shit really, really, they almost took this nigga out the game. Right. You know, having him taking what it was, uh, it was like 25 extra pills that he didn't have to take. That's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. When I, because I went by the crib and he had this shit on there. I mean, what, I said, so this is where your money coming from, man? You out here slanging pills or something? He was like, no, nah, they told me I had to take it. And, you know, I went to my stepmother. I'm like, no, nah, me and you both going to research this shit. Yeah. You know, she made some phone calls. I made some phone calls and come to find out. It was actually literally 25 pills that he wasn't supposed to be taking. Oh, God damn. Yeah. That, was on, pills, that was on top of the ones that he was supposed to take. Because yeah. when I saw it, I'm like, man, this is way too motherfucking much. And, you know, that one set of doctors told him that. Then when they found out, you know, his primary doctor came back in town or, or the country or whatever mm -hmm. and wiped out 25 of them motherfuckers said, no, this is unnecessary. Man, I'm a motherfucking pill. Yeah, like that's what pills. drew my concern, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what literally drew my concern. Cause, There's a lot of extra pills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that bullshit. That's a sound like a lawsuit. <laughs> That right. sound like to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. that shit ain't, that shit ain't, yeah. yeah. That, sh that, that, that shit wasn't right. So, and then, that, I, I don't know. I, I just, I don't trust the government enough just to be taking yeah. shit. You know I, I mean? I probably shouldn't say that, but, and it's probably wrong, mm -hmm. but, you know, I didn't, you know, we didn't, we didn't been on earth for a long time and we didn't seen some bullshit happen. So they know, have, just like with this flu shot. I never took a flu them, shot before. They're going to start getting them vaccine papers and shit. You're going to start getting pulled over and shit. And they're going to be checking your papers. Yeah. Like your, yeah, like your nigga papers and shit like back a, in the day. Like oh, a hands license. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, you know, they would probably put the shit on your license. Uh-huh. You know, you see if you vaccine or So not. then that's like forcing you to do it at that point. So you would do it then? Then we come to a third world country now. I mean, shit. 
What you gonna do though? You said once you forced to do it, you would do it. If I'm forced to do that, cause I, cause see, okay, if it was just me and I'm, you know, I'm single, I'm mm -hmm. probably, you know, whatever, I fight the power. Yeah. But if me not, if they forcing me to do it and me not taking it, you know, a cause a rhetoric, rhetoric with my family, yeah. cause I'm not around or I'm, I'm getting some trouble, then fuck it. Yeah. You got me, government. Once right. again, <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying. You got me. But as far as volunteering to do it, nah. <laughs> so you ain't doing that shit. Up. Nah. Um, so my, my nigga D Rock trying to come in and shit. We gonna bring him in real quick. No, uh, I think he's still there. Hopefully we gonna be able to hear him and shit. I'll turn it up. If he's still available and shit, waiting on him to come in. If you got a last minute comment, man, hit me in the comment box. We will read it live on the air. B Rock, what's the deal? What's what up, Q? How you doing? How y'all fellas doing today? What's happening, Captain? No, we good. What's hey, poppin' with you? First and foremost, we already a third world country. Don't <laughs> Okay. Um, you know, I'm in the, my mom owns a home health care business and we right. got a few facilities, so I work for her. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I, I was, I, I've done all the research. I'm, I've been reading up on this stuff since November yeah. and things like that. Um, and, and I'll be honest with you, the, most of the research I did was from black professionals, black doctors, yeah. black people that were taking the medicine. So, I already said if I was going to take it, it was going to be Moderna. And okay. then they had the option and it came to my job and said, you know, the residents and the staff could get it. Then it was Moderna. I was like, all right, I'll do it. Now, you know, I prayed about it or whatnot. And the worst that I have, and I'm a type of person, I don't get sick. I've never taken a flu shot. I've been I've, I've been sick twice in like 25 years. <laughs> um, it must be nice. So I'm not even... But, but, you know, I start thinking about me working in this facility. Exactly. I mean, we got a lady that lived in this facility that's 105 years old. God damn. It's her second pandemic. Yeah. She lived through Spanish flu. God you know, damn. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, right. Um, you know, it's like you start thinking about these people. So when I got it, the worst I had was my arm hurt. I didn't have no side effects. Yeah. I'm still getting erections. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the most important thing. Right. Right. The worst. Right. What's, what's no, his B rock? But, but yeah, day, question for him. Um, I, I understand us as black people why we have reservations and things like that. And I'm not the person that's pushing it, like get it, get it, get it. But I'm just looking at it because I know people personally that I've seen that have died from it. For sure. I know people personally that have gotten it, got better, but they still have side effects from it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sure. concerned, like. Even somebody like you, Q, you know, big fella like yourself, uh -huh. you get it. I'm concerned, you know. I Hell yeah, I already got a breathing like, condition. Yeah, <laughs> so I don't want to see you out here, nigga, be in this 40, so the oxygen tank the rest of your life. <laughs> no, facts, no, like facts. That. So it, it's just more, but I'll say this, too, and, and, and I'll, before I let you go, this is a show of how capital, I, I'm not a capitalist, but this shows how capitalism works. Like people like the government this, the For government sure. that. The sure. thing is this. The government pumped 13 to 14 billion dollars into all these companies. Yeah. So it gave them the ability to be able to do testing while producing the medicine. The right. reason it takes so much longer to do vaccines in the past is because it was like a 10 year process because they didn't have this kind of capital behind it. Right. It's just like no different. If I gave you $5 million right now, Q, how much better was your podcast? <laughs> shit. Five million times better. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Billions of dollars from the government and don't have to pay that money back. And they tell you, we need you to have the best vaccines available right. because this mRNA technology, which is the Moderna and Pfizer, they've been working on this since the SARS back in 2013. So gotcha. it's not like it's brand new, like they just popped up with it. Right. They just, you know, were able to perfect it. They were able to do the test and the trial. And the last thing that I saw was. That when they had hit 66 million vaccines, that only that only 5,600 people had reported that they had had the um, virus. Mm -hmm. um, of those 5,600 people, I think a third of them was asymptomatic, and 40% of them were over 60. Yeah. So even if you get the vaccine, your chances of getting it are slim. And then I think about the transmission part. Keeps my daughter's back in school. Yeah. You know, she's going to have a day. It just became a family issue. 
this nigga got this number right now. This nigga got this number right now. I'm about to be 40. Who can say I got the vaccine. I didn't have any side effects. I'm still healthy. I'm run, I am run. I work out. I, I'm running five, six miles every time I run. So, Dude. And, you know, I can speak to it from experience. I just think <laughs> my cousin, right. my fifth mama's sixth nephew, right. got the vaccine and they cramped up. Because, you know, I'm not on Facebook. Quit getting all your news on Facebook back to black people. <laughs> right, that's for real. You know, because everybody knows somebody who twisted up, but don't never, don't know them personally. Cause they know their fifth cousin twice removed. Exactly. Hell yeah, no, that's for sure. Like you, know, you, said, you, you, said you, you said you had a question, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, be uh, yeah. My, my nigga Amy man had a question, dog. Hey, um, with you working in them facilities, with you know, uh, clients, clients <laughs> that old, nigga. with clients <laughs> that <laughs> old, repeat it for me. With clients that old, are they forcing the clients at a certain age to take it? Like, like the young lady that's 105, are they forcing her or you know the older ones to take this vaccine? No, it, it was all voluntary. Voluntary. Um, they came to the facility three times because it was two shots. Um, I think eighty percent of the building. No, it, it was about eighty-five percent of the building end up getting the vaccine. Um, we we actually did a good job doing during quarantine where we didn't have at the very beginning. We have two patients at the very beginning that had it. That was before we locked down the building. Once we locked down the building, we didn't have any cases at all um, I say 80% of my staff got it 85% of the rest of us but it wasn't we didn't force anybody mm. people who had guardians we if their guardians wanted them to have it or not so it wasn't like we forced anybody to do it so it's all okay. been voluntary yeah. okay. Um, okay. but it's funny the funny thing is this Q I say this two people on my staff that didn't get the shots that you know we encouraged them to mm -hmm. two people who didn't get the shots and since this whole new crop that popped up they both did got the real bad, and then they gonna call me. That's like, fucked up. I should have got the shot. You think? <laughs> <laughs> at, that point, at that point, I'll be honest with you. At that point, I don't even feel bad. Like, the rest of the story is like, you look at it like, you had a chance to get the shot because the one lady called me, like, is we still doing the shot at the building? No, that's done, sweetie. But they wanted that TCF. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I'm working like, in that working in that environment, yeah. I was, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna do it. That's yeah. what you forced. Yeah, I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like you, you kind of in a position where you got to yeah. at that point. Yeah, yeah but we didn't, force our, 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 we didn't force anybody to do it. Yeah. It was all voluntary. We, we just let people know and encourage them. And I'll be honest with you, since this last big outbreak in Michigan, a lot of my staff came to us and was thankful yeah, that, that they did it. That they did it because people and their family start getting it and they was like, you know, my cousin was over the house last week. They, they had it. I ain't know. And I'm still straight. Yeah. So, so uh, any other questions? Like I said, I had the uh, uh, shot, and I, and my thing is this: you think about it. I knew people that got it and didn't have no symptoms at all. Right. Yeah. But do you want to be the nigga who get it and <laughs> gotta find out how bad you gonna get it? <laughs> right. Right. I feel you. Though. Like I feel like you I'm a test subject at that point. Right. Brian Dumble, that Brian Dumble had this WNBA chick that had to retire. Yeah. Because of uh, uh, because she can't get over her, her lung capacity Dude. hasn't been able to catch up so you know my son he 21 he got the shot you know I didn't used to let my son come in the house without a mask though cause I know you be out here so, <laughs> so you know you out here bullshit <laughs> right so he ended up getting the shot and now he going to Miami this weekend and Dude. I don't have no reservations about him doing it because I know he got the shot right I feel you, you know so alright that's what's All up, right, dog. So I appreciate it, Q. Y'all take it easy, fellas. No All doubt, right, dog. Thanks appreciate for chiming in. It, yeah. yeah, so it, like I working in certain certain positions, I feel like I mean you ain't forced to do it, but I feel like it's some it's some extra incentive to do it. Like mm -hmm. if I'm working with all these old motherfuckers, it's like I don't wanna yeah. be the carrier and yeah. shit. And like like y'all niggas always be saying about, you know, having families and shit. Like you got kids going to school, shit like that, like you get in a different position and shit. Um but with me not being in either one of those positions <laughs> in a in a facility like with old people or having like a whole family and shit, like I'm probably gonna hold out and shit. I might be part of the problem though. That might be, I might be the reason why the numbers going up and shit. Right. That I don't thinking, know. <laughs> you can say what? That thinking probably the reason why. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, it could be though for real. Uh, it's almost time to get up out of here, dog. We gonna go around the block one last time, man. 
Um, if you got a last minute comment, hit me in the comment box right now. We will read your comments uh, live on air, man. Again, shout out to all the people uh, who uh, who tuned in today. Uh, Bo said, I actually heard uh, immunity protects against variants. Uh, there are obviously outliers, but in general, variants aren't effective against uh, herd immunity, which is in favor of getting the vaccine. He said he hate to say it. Mm-hmm. All right, so I mean, eventually, I mean, I'm a, I mean, just to be on the safe side, I just, def- I just definitely didn't want to be on that that first, the first wave, yeah, the first yeah, I just didn't want to do that. But at some point, though, I mean, at some point, it's gonna be for the betterment of the whole whole hookup. I, I say know. I ain't gonna take it, but bro, I'm thinking about it like a motherfucker at this point. Cause family, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you know, I did it did cross my uh, my mental state a couple times because I am in the public a lot. Yeah. But I did have one more question for him. I wish I could have asked him. He said something that was very interesting. Mm-hmm. He said they took it back to uh, they've been working on this since 2013. This vaccine. Um, is that what he said? Because they was working on it for SARS. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay, I guess you, you you pretty much answered the question. Because if you was working on it back in 2013, did you know this, this whole pandemic was going to happen? Oh, no, it was, they was working on a variation for SARS. And then it just happened to be, like, along those same lines and shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But, no, they, I'm pretty sure they probably did. Yeah. <laughs> hey, fucking nigga's face said 20 fucking 30, cuz. <laughs> He's not bullshit. <laughs> he not bullshit either. He for real about that shit, Especially dog. if you know him, you know he ain't bullshit. You know he ain't bullshit, dog. <laughs> All right, we'll go around the block one last time, man. Last minute comments, man. Hit me in the comment box. Um, don't forget, today is Wednesday. Comedy night at the Easy Street Saloon, man. Pull up 16101 East 10 Mile Road, dog. My nigga gonna be slanging chickens out the kitchen all motherfucking night. Uh, comedy show starts at 8 o'clock. Uh, there is a $10 cover charge, man, so... Uh, make sure you pull up and uh, get your good food, get your good laughs on, dogs. It'd be, be a good time on every second or uh, every second Wednesday. Or, yeah, every second. Yeah. <laughs> right, every second Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so pull up, man. 16101 East 10 Mile Road. Knuckleheads Comedy going to be in the building. My nigga slanging chickens out the kitchen. 16101 East 10 Mile Road. Easy Street Saloon, dog. Last minute comments on the way out, dog. We're going around the block. Angry Man. What's poppin', dog? What's your final sentiments for the people, bro? Well, I'm gonna leave this for the people. Vaccine or not, we all fucked anyway. <laughs> Damn. So, I mean, I have no optimistic that anything is gonna change. The world is gonna get worse. And, um... Shit. We all gonna die out this motherfucker, man. Alrighty. <laughs> and, um, so... Enjoy life the way you can right now. You know, I pray for everybody. I don't want nobody else to get sick. I don't want nobody else to check out this motherfucker. But that's just the world we live in, man. So, uh, do what you can and try to stay alive, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Uh, yeah, that's about the best I can tell you. <laughs> this nigga motherfucker retarded. <laughs> I mean... I mean, this is my last sentiment, so, but because this, this is how I feel. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It, it ain't gonna get no better until God hit the reset button. Nigga <laughs> say 20 fucking 40 ounce, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like I said, um, well, no matter what race we are, color, creed, we all some stupid motherfuckers. And, and everybody ain't gonna do nothing right, so I don't even know why we tripping over the shit. Damn. We only don't want to take the vaccine because somebody told us we had to take it. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if they just put it out there and didn't say you had to take it, everybody would take it. Mm-hmm. But you know how we are as humans, especially the Negro. Um, the Negro. As soon as somebody tell you you got to do something, we ain't doing it. <laughs> they give you a curfew, you're going to stand your punk ass outside. They tell you wear a mask, you're going to argue and stab them yeah. fuckers because you don't want to wear one. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So we doing it to ourselves. You know what I mean? I feel you, I guess. <laughs> More money, dog. What you say, bro? Your final sentiments on the way out, bro. Man, I don't know what the buddy is. But okay, let me go on my final sentiments. <laughs> that shit was weird. But anyway, he told niggas to die there at first, and then like, damn, that shit was just weird. It's fucked up, man. Yeah, it's fucked up. <laughs> but I'm just saying, bro, like, all you can do, bro, like, honestly, I was thinking about not taking that shit, bro. Like, now I'm on the fucking fence. Because I got fucking family, you know what I'm saying? My mama, you know what I'm saying? I freak with her often, you know what I'm saying? So, at this point, you know what I mean? Like, shit. I want. I just didn't want to be that motherfucking first motherfucker to get the shot, you know what I'm saying? The guinea pig. I don't want to, I don't want to mm. be the guinea pig, bro. Yeah. 
So, you know what I mean? I'm, like I said, I'm still going to hold off long as possible. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm still hold off long as possible and shit. But, and then maybe I will get that motherfucker, though. You know what I'm saying? It's crossing my mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, being in the business I am, I'm always out. Even though I don't even come out the kitchen. Right. It's still, you know what I'm saying? It's a yeah. slight chance these motherfuckers out the kitchen come come in the kitchen. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So, True. so it's fucking just got me fucking thinking like, man, I'm about to go get this bitch too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, man, I feel and I ain't never took the flu shot or none of that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, shit, it's about that time, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like, I don't want to be jump piggyback on dog, but like, we only got a few summers so <laughs> left for real. That's it, man. For real, we only got a few summers left. You know what I'm saying? So. You know what I'm saying? Live it up. Like you said, bro. Like, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, Corporate Cody, number one, he the one. He put some shit out there like motherfuckers that died last night had something to do this morning. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> motherfuckers right. that died this put morning had something to do last night. Right. Man, stop putting shit off and just do it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, yes, sir. And that was some real shit. We're going to die. On that, on that note, dog, uh, <laughs> this stupid motherfucker, man. switch around. On that note, dog, um, yeah, I, the pandemic. I, I, I really don't know if it's gonna last like a, a like a couple years. I, I say, I say maybe one more year. Um, I think that at this point, because of the the stats that's out, I think more people will be confident in taking the vaccine. I, I am hopeful that the vaccine actually helps. Uh, flatten the curve and shit. I'm I'm not all the way sold on that only because we got an abundance of people in Michigan who has taken the vaccine, but the number keep rising on motherfuckers who uh, keep catching. So I don't I need to see how those no numbers correlate before it, it makes sense to me. But um, I think that the more people get vaccine, I, I am hopeful that that flattens the curve. And if that's the case, then I could see it lasting a little like less than two more years. But in the event that we have to. Uh, shut shit down at 10 or 11 o'clock and wear masks in public and shit like at this point I didn't got accustomed to this shit so I don't even give a fuck for real you know what I'm saying like if I gotta put a mask on to go on Walmart then like fuck it I just I do this shit like it's not that serious and if shit close at 11 I'll get there earlier or stay my ass at home like I'm cool with that shit like I don't really don't care like at this point um yeah I guess that's it that's it in a nutshell thanks everybody who checked in today everybody who chimed in today man don't forget 16101 East 10 Mile Road tonight, man. Knucklehead Comedy at Easy Street Saloon. My nigga Chef Monk Money gonna be slinging chickens out the kitchen, man. Get this motherfucking Caesar salad with the chicken and motherfucking salmon on that motherfucking tongue. This shit is delicious. I'm gonna give me another one tonight. Look at I said I'm gonna try it next time I go. I'm getting another one tonight for sure, dog. So pull up on us, dog. 16101 East 10 Mile Road. We about this thing until Friday, man. Uh, my man Bo said he gonna be in the building on Friday morning. Let's go, Bo. So uh, Bo will be in this bitch, dog. We are gonna be talking shit. Hopefully, uh, V's mobile bar will be in this building so we can uh, we can get drunk and shit. Uh, till then, dog. You already know what it is. The Live is Cloud Radio Show on the planet. Earth, cuss. Straight from the uh, what did they say? Oh, it's just, I'm reading comments shit, my bad. Straight from the E Block Radio Live on the Dial, man. This is the Wake and Bake Show. Got my man Angry Man in the building. Dirtbag Entertainment coming soon. <laughs> my man Mo Money holding it down. You already know. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live for the 48205, man. Red Zone. Peace out, y'all. Yo. Yo. Wake your ass up. It's the Wake and Bake Show live on eblockradio.com. Thank you for listening to this episode. If you or your company are looking to jump into the podcast world, now is the time. The Plug Agency is here to connect you to the full power of podcasting. You just record and leave the rest to us. The people are listening and want to hear from you. Theplug-agency.com. That's theplug-agency.com. Click the link in the episode description for an exclusive offer. PardonMyEastSide.com. We've got t-shirts, long sleeve tees, snapbacks, skull caps, and yeah, we even got hoodies. Use the promo code eBlockRadio to get 15% off right now.